Today we're gonna take a closer look at the new 3D asset library with a very useful add-on developed by the Grasswall 3D team. They provide solutions for 3D artists to create super realistic nature scenes. CG Scatter and the Island Rida Forest Library will both help you create awesome nature scenes very easily. Gscatter is a free and powerful add-on developed for Blender version 2.93 and beyond. Based on the new geometry nodes, it allows artists to quickly scatter any object on any given surface. In addition to the ability of stacking them into layers of object collections for more control over complex ecosystems of nature scenes, especially if you want to create something really complex. It features a user-friendly interface to easily control the look of the scattering objects by adjusting the density, scale, rotation, and geometry with different intuitive ways, effects, and optimizations. Gscanner comes with an asset browser that contains a library with a handful of ready-to-use detailed 3D plant models. And this is where the asset pack comes to play. Island Rida Forest, which is a large 3D assets library of almost 4,000 high-quality detailed plant 3D models with realistic PBR materials and 8 levels of detail for each model. Grasswall's team scanned up to 22 species within a surface of 10,000 meters squared, and they did that in the Island Rida Forest in Germany. They are offering four versions, one free version for commercial use, and three other pro versions for individuals, studios in addition to companies. And the great thing is, all these four versions have 4K textures. You can use different features of the add-on to get stunning results like this one within minutes. Although I'm using Blender for this demonstration, Island Rida Forest assets have been converted to all formats, which means it is compatible and updated automatically for all major 3D renderers and software including Maya, Max, and Cinema 4D. To start using the add-on, you can select your ground as the object emitter, and then start adding scattering layers of any objects on the asset browser by simply selecting the species you want to scatter and hitting the scatter selected button. The add-on will automatically add the species collection to your project and scatter it around on the already selected emitter as a single layer. And with this layer selected, you have a bunch of parameters you can play with in order to change this look. In the distribution tab in the effect layers, which is the distribute of faces layer, you can change the spacing between each object by selecting a minimal distance, changing the density distribution and the seed of the random scattering. You can delete or add as many effect layers as you need, and for each of them, you can select different blending mode or change its influence on the scattering. There are many different effect layers in the list, but to keep it short, we're gonna tackle only the two layers I found most useful in my projects, the weight mask and the camera calling layers. The weight mask layer allows you to simply paint onto your surface emitter where you want your object to be. By clicking on the brush button, it switches automatically to weight paint mode, and by having enough geometry in your ground, you can paint over it with detail and customize the density distribution so that it fits perfectly to your project's needs. When you are done, simply click again on the same brush button to go back to the object mode. The camera calling effect layer is an incredible optimization tool because it automates a very common optimization technique that we used to do manually, which is rendering only objects that appear in the camera frame. Just by selecting your camera, only the objects of the scattering layer that are visible in the camera will remain. You can also tweak the camera or some render settings, and this will considerably decrease your render time. Next in the scale tab, you can of course change the main scaling, but also the scale of each axis. You can also randomize it using the randomize effect layer, in addition to other stuff as well. It is also possible to paint over the surface emitter using the same weight mask layer used in the distribution tab for overall better control over the look of it. It is pretty much the same for the rotation tab, except that the randomize section is part of the rotation effect layer. As for the geometry tab, you can find objects that are scattered within the layer selected and add objects or collections to them or even remove any of them. You can also scatter any object on your surface, either from the asset pack or the ones you modeled yourself, as simple as selecting the objects and clicking the plus button. Creating nature scenes that look realistic is all about complexity. By adding more and more scattering layers of your objects and varied distributions that follow the correct logic, the scene will look more realistic and coherent. This scatter is a great add-on that shortens the process of creating realistic nature scenes a lot. In addition to this incredible asset pack, I've been able to achieve this result in less than an hour, and this is mind-blowing given the amount of detail in the textures and the scene as a whole. If you are interested in the add-on or the asset pack, you will find all the necessary links in the description.
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.